Hello, this is Jake Martin with Landis and Associates. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about QuickBooks Online and third-party app integrations. You'll see I've shared my screen and I'm currently looking at the QuickBooks App Store. One of the awesome things about QuickBooks Online is the huge number of third-party apps that are available. Intuit basically understands that, hey, QuickBooks is, cannot do everything. So these third-party apps are allowed to integrate uh, in order to fill the gaps in areas that QuickBooks uh, is, is, is weak. So for example, uh, inventory management, uh, advanced reporting, time tracking, uh, things like that where QuickBooks is not necessarily designed to take care of those functions. Um, although it's really cool that there are so many apps available, there are some dangers and issues involved with connecting those apps. So before you integrate or click connect on any of these apps, you wanna look at three questions here. Uh, first question, just in general, is it trustworthy? Most of the apps listed on this site have been vetted in some way or, or have been around for some time. So they should be okay, but they will have weak areas. So read reviews, understand what those weak areas are gonna be. And uh, if they will not work for your scenario, you may need to find something else. Second question, what does the integration do? What does the app do and what does the integration do? So uh, have an understanding of is it a one-way or a two-way sync? For example, a, a one-way uh, relationship would be Fathom. Fathom is a reporting app that just reads the information in QuickBooks and presents it in new and insightful ways uh, versus Dext. Dext is able to see the transactions in QuickBooks and match them up with receipts that you take pictures of. It can also push those receipts over to QuickBooks as an attachment and create a transaction. So that would be a two-way sync. So understand what type of, of relationship is going on there. And also if there are any settings or mappings that need to be set up. Um, if those are not set up properly, that can create issues down the road. And the third question, is the integration necessary or useful? I'm assuming the app is necessary and useful to you, but the integration may not be useful. For example, an inventory app. Um, a lot of times an app will, be, will, will do the job on its own and it may not be necessary to connect to QuickBooks. A lot of these inventory apps will do a great job of tracking your inventory, but you may not need all that detail in QuickBooks. So when you go to integrate it, um, sometimes the, the integration will push all the detail over to QuickBooks and you'll have hundreds and hundreds of, of ins and outs and all sorts of transactions, and that may not be necessary. So some alternatives would be to have a monthly summary journal entry or, or other type of transaction that that uh, summarizes all the activity instead of having all the detail come over and there'd be the potential of, of duplication and, and amounts being incorrect and, and, and stuff like that. Once data is in QuickBooks, it is very difficult to delete. There is no batch delete function. So you would have to go through and individually delete each transaction. So again, is, it, is the integration necessary and useful? Does it add value? Is the data flow appropriate and manageable? Is there going to be duplicate information? If you have all the reports and all the information you need in the third-party app uh, and QuickBooks isn't gonna be able to add anything additional to that, then just keep the two programs separate. Let the third-party app do its thing, let QuickBooks take care of its thing, and there's no need to integrate. Um, integration is only necessary if value is going to be added. So those are a few things to be aware of and think about when you look at third-party app integration. Best of luck.